Welcome back to the Gravity Rush Remastered Speedrunning Beginner's Guide. This is going to be Episode 7, and this is the No Debt Route. Okay, so Episode 7 is basically just uh, movement and gem collection during parts that you can't speed up. There's not really any combat. There is a boss at the end of it, but it's kind of just like break the gems on her back, and then you follow her around, and then you have the final set of it. So, okay, first we have to go to Playjune. Now the game tells you to go to the train, but you don't actually need to, so we're just going to kick straight off in the distance. Now it is important that you kick a little bit high here because you do not have enough gauge to make it all the way over there, and you want that once your gauge runs out, you want to kind of fall and be even with the uh, gems underneath the city that we're going to collect. So you can see them right there. But once we get our gauge back, we're just going to kick across. Make sure we pick up all the gems here. Uh, and then we're going to hit up here. And then the episode's going to be right next to that little gap there. Alright, so now we get this first section, which is going to be the quiz and the runner. I'll talk about each as we get there. So you're going to head back where we came a little bit, and then you're just kind of going to go straight down. Okay. We're going to head back here, head here, and then straight down. Talk to the quiz. Okay, so first thing to note, the answers are always going to be Fire, Aquarius Academy, and Left Hand. Uh, the position that they're in is randomized, so you just have to double check, make sure you're pressing the right button. One thing to note too, obviously I'm playing on the English version, um, but the Japanese version, from the Japanese to the English version, they just swapped every instance of X and Circle, right? So in the English version, X is accept, and the cir in the Japanese version, Circle is accept, and vice versa for cancel. So... If you notice in the position of the buttons, triangles in the top, squares on the left, X is on the right, and circles on the bottom. In the Japanese version, circle will be on the right and X is on the bottom, um, but they just literally swapped it for the English version. So just make sure that you're pressing the right button that corresponds to like what it says, not the position of it. That's messed me up, and that's messed up a couple other runners. Uh, and failing the quiz loses you maybe like 15 seconds or 10 seconds because you have to like quit out and then start it again. Um, okay, so we got Fire, which is Circle, and then we got Aquarius Academy. I just look for the Q, that's usually the best way to find it. Um, in my opinion, that's going to be Circle again. And then we have Left Hand, which is going to be X. Alright, so once you get that correct, you're just going to turn your controller straight around here. Then you're going to fly up top, grab the 10 gems here, grab the 20 gems on top of the building here, and then we're going to kick straight down to start the runner. So you're going to watch the runner. Uh, this gem collection is a little tight, and you don't really need to worry about it. It's maybe only 20 gems, but as soon as he reappears, right there, we're going to kick over here, grab this 10 gem, and just make sure you immediately turn around, because if you're not fast, then you will uh, you will lose him. So as soon as he starts running away, we're going to grab this 10 gem up here. Make sure you don't go too far away, because again, you can trigger it so that he goes far, and then... You hold circle and you cancel at the right time, you can land on his head, but it's really hard to do and it doesn't actually speed anything up. So here we're going to attempt another trigger claw, similar to the trigger kick that I showed you earlier. Oh boy. As soon as that starts, oh I didn't get it in time, but you can press triangle. Um, I was just too late. We can press triangle there and you can start moving while that little scene triggers, uh, if you want to be optimal. And just start mashing L1 so that if you mess it up, you get immediately cancelled. Alright, so now we're carrying Newt. We call this section a whole Newt world. Take him on a magic carpet ride. We're gonna grab all the gems we can. They're not a lot, and then look at these cute little hearts right here. It's not a lot of gems, so it's not a big deal, but uh, of course they're directly in your path, so we're gonna pick up the ones that we can kick through here if you don't if you do miss one of these sets of gems the heart gems won't appear but again not a huge deal because it's only like well like eight gems six or eight gems and in the grand scheme of things that's not that many grab these bad boys all right here and then we're about to start kusiko or uh the spider boss as we like to call her too Okay, so let's get to the first thing. There's going to be a little tutorial that pops up, and I'll talk about her. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the gems on her back, uh, we can basically kill all of them before she reaches the first checkpoint, but there are four checkpoints, and there are four gems on her back. So you got to make sure that each gem is destroyed by the time she reaches each checkpoint. What we're going to do is we're going to kick her... Uh, we're going to 
kill as many gems as we can before the first checkpoint, then we're going to follow her to the second one, and then I'll just show you uh, the gem route after that that we're going to start collecting to try to get as many gems as we can during this fight. So just aim at her instantly. You're going to want to RGK. You can kind of aim Cat around like I'm holding uh, over here so that she picks up the blue gem, because you do kind of run out of gauge while you're chasing her down. It doesn't really matter how fast you do this. Not a big deal. So this is the first checkpoint. So as soon as, if you've already broken the gem, you literally just need to like kick her or chuck an object at her or do something um, to just kind of like get her going. She does stop each time you do it. Okay, so here we're just gonna meet her at the second checkpoint. So let's pick up the blue gem here, go around. It's gonna be right here is where the second checkpoint is. So let's see. Okay, so we're gonna kick her there. And now we're gonna grab this blue gem and fall off the side here. So as soon as you land, you're gonna see this set of six gems. We're gonna collect these. And then we're gonna collect this set right here. We're gonna fly up here. Just grab a stasis object while you're waiting for her. And then uh, walk close to the edge, but obviously make sure you got a clear shot. Chuck it as soon as she stops. And then we're gonna jump off. We're gonna grab this line of gems here. We're gonna grab this set, the 60. We're gonna grab the 40 up here. And then if you barely have enough gauge to make it, but try to get to the top of this building. We're gonna grab 30. And then we're gonna get the 20 right over here. Okay. So now, before we start this, we're going to upgrade to Gravity Kick Level 3. So make sure at this point at least have 600 if you can. As you can see, we have a pretty good abundance of gems. Just kick her, and then we move to the final phase. So this is just RGKs. That's all you're going to want to do. And then that's it. All right, so that's going to be episode seven. Um, a lot of gem collecting here, and it's pretty important if you can learn that gem path because it definitely helps us get those upgrades a lot sooner. Um, all right, so that's going to be it for episode seven, and I will see you in the next one.